Southwest Hot Chefs and Restaurants is brought to you in part by Viking, delivering the ultimate in performance and design for cooking indoors and out. Thanks for rejoining us at Builder's Source Appliance Gallery in Santa Fe. My guest, Chef John, joining us from the Landmark Grill. Those mushrooms were awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. We had to get started without you on these burgers because they're so big, they take longer to cook than we have for our segment. How big are these burgers? They're half a pound each. Half a pound each. Okay, so we're having some big hamburgers. Um, you get this meat locally in Las Vegas, New Mexico, is that yes, right? Yes, our meat comes from Randy Houston's farms. He has a ranch, I believe, right there in Las Vegas and another ranch or two south of Santa Rosa, maybe down by uh, Las Cruces. Local guy, New Mexico guy. Oh yes. Great, that's really cool. And the meat you're using, you say it's like 7%? Yeah, it's very lean. Really These lean. These burgers will actually eat like a steak, wow. not a hamburger. We don't mind that, do we? No. That sounds yummy. Well, in this recipe, which isn't that complicated, but it's gonna be so yummy, can be found on southwesthotchefs.com. And um, I wanted to talk to you about inside the Landmark Grill, which is located in the Plaza Restaurant or the Plaza Hotel in Las Vegas, New Mexico. There's a bar called Byron Tees. Yes. That's really popular. Yeah, the locals love it. Yeah. We have live music three nights a week. We're having. We just started an open mic night, which is. You get in on that? Pretty, no. So we're cooking in a Viking kitchen today, and this blue cobalt beautiful kitchen, and uh. What's really fun is we have six burners here, so we can use our griddle. We were using before. We we're using saucepans, making sauces. So lots of room to work. That looks great, crispy. Yep, we're about halfway there. Juicy on the inside. With these burgers, there's no fat, so you don't really want to press the burger. You want to leave it thick. As you've noticed, even the amount of time it's been cooking, it's barely. Why do people do that? At all. You, people, you see them and they take the spatula they and think they. It, it they down. think it makes it cook faster. It does in a way, but once you start moving the juices through the meat, it's cooked. Okay. Okay, so you've got green chili over here. Okay. Well, we're going to put it on, start warming it up. All right. Now, is this you? A little more roast. Oh, you put it right on the griddle. Oh, yeah. Is this spicy green chili or not No, so this is a hatch chopped green chili. It's very medium, medium hot medium. Out for out here. Patch, another local ingredient. Yep. Fantastic. And what do you serve this with at the restaurant? We have our own home cut French fries and we also have uh, sweet potato fries. Sweet potato. I love sweet potato fries. Those are good. And some people ask for chips. That's fine. Yep. Well, you get a lot of locals in there. We talked about that, but there are a lot of tourists that come through. Yes. You get two tourists from New Mexico, like people that, that shoot oh, yeah. from Albuquerque or Las Cruces or some of the other cities in our state. They come from all left. over. We have tour groups that come through and they just take a bus ride and basically they've chosen a certain section of New Mexico to tour for two or three days. Yeah. And what kind of cheese are we using? This is a Monterey Jack cheese. You can tell when your burger's almost at the temperature you want it because there'll be enough heat passing through the meat to actually melt this cheese without trying to slide it under something else to make the cheese melt. Okay. Okay, and the garnish for it is just basic, just tomatoes and lettuce. Well, it's not, and green chili, which you gotta have if you're making a burger oh, in New yeah. Mexico. It either needs to be an option or it needs to be on the burger. It's always on our burgers. Oh, always? Always. Nice. I appreciate that in the restaurant. Okay. So red leaf Yeesh. lettuce, tomato, buns. Not quite. Our cheese is almost melted. Mm -hmm. And these will be medium rare. If you wanted them well done, we have to cook them a lot longer. I don't like them well done. I like them medium rare. How do you take yours? Medium rare. Medium rare. I thought you might be a medium rare man. This is a treat. Thank you so much for doing this. Oh, well, you're welcome. Glad to be here. There we go. I was going to have to do a little swap. If you pick that one, I was going to... Mm -hmm. What we'll do is we'll cut these in the half. Plate. Make them a little easier to... Meat. Okay. Oh, look at that meat. Can you open that up and let us see the oh, inside? Yeah. yeah, that's how I like it cooked. Mm, that's rare. Is that medium rare or rare? That, I like them. No, that's that that's medium rare. That's it's medium not rare? cold in the center. Rare okay. is cold in the center. 
as you see it, medium rare, still all about the same color, but it's hot all the way through. So pink in the middle, but hot. Yeah. Okay, then I am a medium rare girl. You talk, see, I don't even know. I don't even know which one I like. That's good. Okay. Well, let's try it. You're not gonna try it with me. Good more for me. Mmm. Huh. Juicy, juicy, juicy. Mmm. The green chili is so flavorful. Wow. That's a great burger. Good. Glad you liked it. So juicy, even with the lean meat. It's very surprising because uh, when I buy lean meat, it doesn't make burgers like this. I don't know what you're doing. You sprinkle like magic. Uh, well, I, I ran out of horseradish. You ran out of horseradish. That's your, that's your signature ingredient, right? I'm going to run out and buy some after this and put it on the burger. Okay. Thank you so much, John. Thank you. Enjoyed having you Thank and you. your burger.